After eight years with the Toronto Maple Leafs, Mitch Marner will be a pending unrestricted free agent next year with the decision of whether they trade him, let him walk for nothing, or do they attempt to resign him? Let's talk about it. Mitch Marner with 630 points in 569 games, over point per game, the best winger Matthews will ever have. Let's break this down. Mitch Marner has been accused of not a playoff performer, a stat patter, and just a Matthews guy. None of that is the case. We're going to put all those arguments to bed as Mitch Marner has been the playoff performer last year. We take a look at last year when they made the second round. Mitch Marner was the guy. Mitch Marner had 14 points in 11 games last year in the playoffs against the Florida Panthers as well as the Tampa Bay Lightning, beating them in six games. Now going into this year, they'll have to play Boston, if not Florida, potentially Tampa in the first round. A very hard first round matchup. But at the end of the day, it's not worth trading your second best player for prospects. A potential Mitch Marner deal would consist of potential prospects, such as Quentin Byfield and Brant Clark. A player shift like a Patrick Laine, as we know Columbus Blue Jackets have been interested in Mitch Marner for the last four years, ever since he was a free agent. With teams like Carolina, Minnesota, even Boston, it believes that they're one star away. Carolina, maybe if, if you were to make the trade for Mitch Marner, it would have to be to give up Seth Jarvis, multiple assets, if not giving up Sebastian Ajo. At that point, it's not worth making a trade just to make a trade. The ideology behind making a hockey trade is the sake of making a hockey trade to make the team better. That's the objective, to make the team better. If adding Mitch Marner, you believe, makes the team better, then you make that move. But at right now, with all chips in the middle, there is no move that makes sense for Mitch Marner to not be with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Take a look at this year, for example. 76 points in 62 games. Matthews on pace for 70 goals. William Nylander signing that massive extension. Morgan Riley on that back end with a giant extension as well. The core is stuck together and the narrative behind the core doesn't work in the playoffs. That might be true. For example, the Washington Capitals are the perfect example of saying the core doesn't work in the playoffs. Nicholas Backstrom and Alexander Ovechkin went after the cup for 10 plus years together. Couldn't get the job done. Eventually took a next man up mentality coming with Evgeny Kuznetsov. Providing that first line center statistics. Knocking out the Pittsburgh Penguins. Slaying the Dragon in the second round. Then defeating the Tampa Bay Lightning in the third round. To later on defeat the Vegas Golden Knights in the finals. Provided by Alex Ovechkin generational goal scoring, compare that to Austin Matthews. Nicholas Backstrom's amazing playmaking, let's compare that to Mitch Marner, so on and so forth. John Carlson, Morgan Riley, Braden Holpe. Now we need to figure out that goaltending situation with Toronto. Toronto Maple Leafs need a goaltender. They need a goaltender more than they need to trade Mitch Marner. Let's put that narrative away. That narrative is gone. Mitch Marner will stay in Toronto. I'm calling my shot. Mitch Marner will be a Toronto Maple Leaf for the rest of his life. When it comes to the goalie situation, Toronto has had hit or miss in the last couple of years regarding Campbell, Samsonov, Wall. It's all been very hit or miss. Now, Samsonov providing them that first round win. Is that a confidence booster to win in the second round this year? It will not be. You're not beating Bobrovsky in the second round. You're not beating Olmark slash Swayman in the second round. You're not beating Vasilevsky. It's or Shcherkin. It's just not happening. What they will do with a goalie would have to consist of a move of Easton Cohen, if not Fraser Minton, to potentially make that blockbuster move for Susie Soros. If he's available, but not many goaltenders on the market. Toronto Maple Leafs might be out of luck. They might have to roll with the punches they have in hopes of maybe making a minor move with Sam Montebo. Even that, I don't believe, will put them over the edge. They're, they're going to need a next man up mentality for the playoffs. And that man might be Bobby McMahon.